guys, welcome back to the you with SNM. If today happens to be the first time you're watching me, thank you so much. I appreciate you and uh, feel comfortable by joining the family. And you know what you can do, right? To be a part of the family, just hit the subscribe button, just hit it, hit it already. Yay, thank you so so much. And if you're a returning viewer, I really do appreciate you. So, in this video, I'm going to share with you guys six things. I learned mm, in my early 20s guys I'm not that old though but I'm just going to share a couple of stars with you guys I hope you learn something from it you get inspired or you pick a thing or two from it or you could just listen <laughs> all right so let's get right into the video some sort of um, goals, aspirations, desires and plans growing up, okay? We wanted to achieve certain things at a particular age. We wanted to do certain things at certain age. But once we keep growing, you get to discover or you find out that all the things you actually planned or all the things you really wanted to achieve, somewhere, somehow, you've not been able to do that, okay? Whereas for others, even before they get to the age they actually plan on achieving the stuff they have put in place to achieve, they had already achieved all of those things. So just recently it dawned on me because I was celebrating my birthday and I'm like, wow, what's my net worth? How many houses do I have? How many cars do I have? How many this? How many that? Um, what can I boast of right now? How far have I come in life? What have I achieved? And what would others, like my siblings especially, look up to me for? You know, all of these things keep coming in mind. But unfortunately, I it dawned on me that most of the things I actually wanted or kept, most of the things that actually kept coming into mind had to do with material styles. Um, things that would just be but for a while and all of that I'm not trying to say they are not important they are absolutely very important but then after achieving all of this is that all and so I sat back and I'm like whoa I'm not where I want to be but I'm definitely not where I used to be. So there have been progress. There have been an improvement. And since life is a journey that moves forward, then that means surely and certainly whatever thing we have planned will definitely achieve. This particular birthday of mine had me need to understand and actually appreciate life even the more. Because once you have life, there is hope everybody's journey is different and you see probably you may not have what you wanted to have at the time but you have what you didn't even think of having now okay the experiences the values and a lot of lessons from life that is actually preparing and building you up for what is ahead of you so let me stop boring you with all of these stuffs and then quickly go to the reason for this video. So my number one lesson, number one, mm, everybody's experience in this life is different and everybody's destination is also different. So don't look up to somebody's experience and say probably I have a headache and the doctor prescribes um two doses of panadol for me to take and then you also have a headache and because i took two you also go and take it too it it's it wouldn't work or it doesn't work like that probably your symptoms are minor or they are even severe and two may not even work so everybody's experience are different and everybody's destination is equally different focus on your own 
but that does also not mean that you shouldn't um have people around who would help or guide you to that particular destination okay and when you come across the very good ones try as much as possible to keep them because it's very difficult coming across good people in this life you bad yeah the second thing you should also know is that be determined to do what must be done when you can okay and try as much as possible to do it the right way guys do it the right way whilst at it just to know that you can please everybody and so there'll be times you would step on certain tools in order to get certain things done but don't forget to do that amicably that means like don't end relationships or don't end i mean stuff in like in a very um harsh or in a very bad way such that you can't actually go back in case there is a need for anything or in case you're supposed to make reference or something nah solve all your problems amicably just know that you can't please a like you can't please everybody and definitely somebody will have something against what you are doing or what you intend doing even if it's for the greater good not everybody is supposed to be with you throughout your journey okay not everybody some people we expect to be you know um with us throughout the story as long as the book lasts end up to be in probably a page or even just a sentence so don't expect everybody to be there for you throughout do you get it remain humble and learn as much as you can the fourth thing i want you guys to know is you are not perfect accept your mistakes like you have done them yes don't sit in them or don't sit there and brood over them accept the mistakes you've made and move on there's nothing you can do about it i mean it's happened and it has happened already so accept your mistakes know you're not a perfect human being and learn from those mistakes so you don't repeat it again and move on as simple as that well it doesn't really it's it's much easier said than done but with a conscious effort you can definitely move out of it it doesn't mean like you'd forget totally probably you'd have a constant reminder you know telling you of um your mistakes it could even be the accuser accusing you of all your past mistakes wrongs and errors and all of that but guys you are only perfect in jesus christ on your own you are not perfect so please move away from that and move on to what is supposed to be done as simple as that i will <laughs> the fifth point don't stop pursuing and planning and persevering even in the face of failure know that there are times and seasons for everything ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 downwards there is a time for everything bro your time will come okay so my sixth and final point is hold on to god and serve him whichever way you can guys serve god there is so much reward in service there is so much reward in serving god i know most of you have you know all this contradictory ideas when it comes to religion and all of that but if it is the service of God, serve him and serve him well, whichever way you can, and you will not regret it. Um, life is, is a journey, and in every journey, there are road signs that you have to follow, okay? And this road signs will guide and lead you. My prayer for you is that um, at every stage, where there is a sign my prayer is that god would help you know which direction you're supposed to head to because without direction you are totally lost and for all you know you could even actually get to your destination somewhere somehow 
but if it's going to take you like three hours to drive from Accra to Volta region and you end up using um, Bogatanga or Wa Waliwale Road, you may end up there in the Volta region in like two days or three days, okay? So maybe you may not miss it eternally, but then it's if you miss a divine direction today, it may affect you. And that is my prayer for you. I hope we we learn something. I hope we get to um, learn from our personal experiences and all the things we are we are going through. And even as we grow and mature, the more I hope um, we make decisions that would not only affect us but will affect the people around us as well. And I'm looking forward to a great and a brighter future where you and I would you know be look back and be like, wow. We actually finally did it you know we've made it and we are making it and we will make it so it's not like we just made it because we wanted to buy a house and we bought it and so that ends it okay all right so thank you so much for staying with me throughout this video i appreciate your time and everything your comments your sharing i love it so much and i love you for doing that i love you don't say this is conditional love. I love you regardless. <laughs> Alright, so until my next video, guys. Don't forget to do you, do you, and do you. Bye-bye.